The El Paso County Sheriff's Office says May was its busiest month yet for seizing illegally grown marijuana. And today, all those plants were recycled. News 5 was there to see it happen and learn more about how local law enforcement agencies are working together to target these illegal grows. For the third or fourth time this year, we're destroying all the illegal marijuana that we've seized um, over the past several weeks and months. Uh, working with the, the DEA and Metro V&I, uh, the Sheriff's Office working together, uh, in the month of May we seized around 1,600 illegal marijuana plants. We'll head off to uh, destroy it. You know, there's costs for local law enforcement on the front end to pay people to, to take down the grows and then on the back end to destroy the product. Today we're going to mulch it. Um, we'll take it to a local vendor. Threw up in my mouth a little bit. Um, who uh, grinds it up and, and destroys it, makes it 100% unusable. This, this will be the first time I've actually watched them mulch it too. So we'll learn together. The criminal element associated with, with these uh, Cuban drug trafficking organizations uh, grows every day. We are making, uh, we are gaining ground, I can tell you that. We have the backing now uh, to go after these illegal grows, and uh, we're not going to stop. And the sheriff's office has focused many operations in the eastern part of El Paso County. Investigators say out there, criminal organizations wrongfully believe they can get away with it.